Hi, this is uh, Dilip Thakur and uh, welcome to my uh, channel and today I am going to uh, put forward certain things about uh, the chapter life process. Now the first thing which comes to our mind, how do we decide whether a living thing is uh, alive or dead? For a layman it is very simple to say that something is moving, it is alive, if something is not moving on its own, it is dead. And that is a common belief that we have. But the same is not exactly true in every case. For example, if there is an old tree, there is no part actually moving from one place to another. But can we call it dead? The answer is no. Why we cannot call it dead? Because if it is daytime, still photosynthesis process is happening. The food is being prepared. The water from the roots are moving up to the leaves there is a small pores tomato which is allowing the exchange of carbon dioxide gas into the leaves and there is a biochemical process happening in which the carbon dioxide water they are mixed up and finally the glucose which is nothing but a form of carbohydrate is being formed so even though for a layman from outside it appears that the plant is not moving but inside there is lot of movements happening as we know that the water is moving up it's going to the leaves at the same time when the food is prepared it is taken to each and every part of the tree molecular movements are also required to maintain the well defined structure of certain organisms especially in the multicellular organisms there is a well defined hierarchy for instance, the cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, organs make up system and system make up organisms. So because of the interaction with the environment, this well defined structure sometimes gets damaged. Some of the cells get damaged, some of the tissues need to be replaced because they are not in a proper condition. So it is this molecular movements which make this process of repair possible and due to this the organisms can survive now the thing is that an organism does not have any control on the external environment so that is why there is a process by which the food is taken from outside it is broken down into the soluble form and then it is absorbed in blood and then finally it reaches each and every cell so it is this maintenance job that requires nutrition which is nothing but a form of energy because as we know all the organisms perform different functions if it is an animal the main function is the movement which requires energy if it is a plant again the energy is required for uh, pulling the water from the roots and uh, uh, the sunlight which is used for photosynthesis process so because of this the molecular movements make all these processes possible and due to which the organism stays intact.